young, I used to spend all my spare time working on my first car, which was a bright yellow bar hard bug. And then Saturdays would come around. They were magical. You had the whole weekend ahead of you to work on your projects and go cruising in them. I had <laughs> limited tools and facilities, but it was fun. That's what this channel is about. It's about bringing inspiration to people with that magic, with the magic of Saturdays and doing stuff with limited tools and facilities. This is where my channel's at at the moment and I do want to grow it. And But I'm really enjoying the levers at the moment, doing the stuff I'm doing with the stuff I've got. But I'm into development, developing machines, developing life, developing everything, making stuff better, customising stuff. And there you have it. And I'm growing the channel. The time has come. The Bobba Vlog is now going to be called Branco Customs. I don't know if you noticed or not, but it did turn into the Branco Bobba for a while. That was just to get people used to the idea of a name change so they didn't miss my videos when they came along. I started making content about the bobber because that was what I was into. I just wanted to make content about something I was into. And it gained a bit of traction and got to where it is today from the bobber. Easiest thing for me to do because I don't have the funds to get that to where I want is to actually sell the bobber. So what I'm going to do is not sell the bobber because the bobber's got the channel to where it is today. And I'm probably never going to get rid of the bobber for that. And I'm going to continue developing the bobber and making content about it. But the bug's going to be involved now as well. So it's probably going to be even more content. This is my 67 Baja bug. But, and I'm going to get him back on the road again and the beach and off road because that's what I want to do. But the bobber and the bobber vlog is a very small niche and it's not going to get my channel to where I want it to get to. But that's not why I'm doing this. I'm doing this to actually build content and inspire people and entertain people and educate people with the stuff that I'm doing. And the stuff I want to do now is the bug. I want to carry on racing the bike and developing the bike. But the bug, I'm going to get going again and I'm really excited about that. Because I miss hanging out with VW people because they're really cool people. And the bobber is in a great place for me right now at the point of actually drag racing it and I'm learning a lot about tuning and stuff like that and making it faster and things like that which in the past I've always done with VWs and now the VW is coming back into it this is not a drag car like I've had in the past Living here in Australia, we've got awesome off-road, we've got awesome beaches and even sand dune islands over here. We've actually got the biggest sand dune island in the world over here, Fraser Island. And that's one of my goals, to get this bug over to Fraser Island. So first thing, get it on the road, get it registered. Then I can slowly develop it and make it better and <laughs> go to Fraser Island, which is one of my goals. Also, I miss going to VW shows with a VW. So that's what's going on. This channel's also about my dreams, my goals. I have a bucket list and this channel is documenting my journey to turn my dreams into goals and go after them. My journey continuing to drag race the bobber, turbocharge the bobber. My journey to build a drag drive and off-road machine. My journey to Bonneville. And if I can inspire you guys with my journey for my bucket list, my dreams and my goals, then I'm onto a winner. So what can you expect for future content from me? Well, I've got heaps of content up my sleeve about the bobber and the bug. I've actually filmed a lot of content as well, but unfortunately I haven't been able to finish it off because I haven't been able to get to the drag strip. Rain stopped that the other day. I was booked in for a test and tune and that was cancelled and there's not another one till another six weeks time. So I'm actually thinking about competing in the near future just even to get more track time. That will open up a whole new avenue of content, actually making the bike and myself compliant for AHRA rules and stuff. But thankfully, I haven't had to deal with the stuff you guys in the States have had to deal with, like with Hurricane Helene and Milton. So I thought to with you on that one. I'm still chasing that 10 second quarter mile, which I hope to get the other night. 
because I've done some interesting stuff for the bike about that and you're going to see a video about that very shortly. So I'm on a mission to get my 60 foot times down as well because I haven't been launching as hard as I can so I'm going to be doing that and a lot of other stuff like this. So down here we've got I've got the steel to make a engine stand and then we're going to start stripping the engine down. I've also got some scrap over here which I'm going to make new exhaust headers out of and also I'm going to have to be doing some exhaust work for one of the other power adders I'm putting on it. I've got the trusty arc mid captain welder there I'm going to do that with. Got more about that later. Got more agaves for a project here. Having too few projects on the go is not one of my problems right now. And it's getting a little bit cluttered in here. Got the 2.1 litre bug motor there. I'm freshening up for the bug. Got doors for the bug. Ah, what have we got here? I've got a very interesting video coming up about these guys here if you haven't already seen it. Also, I'm going to be addressing this here. I'm going to be modifying the frame so I can open up that supercharger outlet again and get more boost out of it. Yeah, and I'm going to be getting involved in tearing down the bottom end. Probably not this motor here. This is probably going to go back in the bike while I'm tearing down the one that's in the bike because the one that's in the bike has had a lot more abuse than this. So we're going to see what's happened to it. More agaves from my other project there. I've got the Unimig Viper 180 TIG welder, which I'm going to be getting going with the exhaust stuff. So I'm going to be doing a lot more learning about TIG welding as well. There'll be content about that. Carburetors for the bug. And I'm going to be doing a video about this stuff here. ACF 50. For all you guys who have these cold climates in the winter who have to put your bikes away. That's going to be for you. And of course the bug. Developing the bug for off-road and maybe drag racing further down the line as well. So these are all part of my bucket list and I really hope to make some interesting content for you about it all. So to help me get there it's up to you guys to, to support the channel so comment, like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and share as well. Everything helps. Oh and also let me know what sort of content you want to see from the bobber and from the bug and whatever. And I'm also open to doing reviews of stuff for you and even getting your company name or whatever somewhere in the video. And of course, have a great day.